Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you guys have seen already, we've got the new Polygon Siskiyou N7, uh, the new sponsored bike. Still pretty stoked about that. And so still getting us set up, kind of tuned in for, for everything. We are going to be installing Kushcore on, uh, on the front and back. So today, that's what we're gonna be doing. So let's check it out. Hopefully it's not too hard. So the Polygon actually comes with, uh, doesn't come tubeless, it comes with tubes already installed. So obviously gotta remove that. And it looks like there's already some, some rim tape on here, which looks to be in good condition. I mean, it's a brand new tire, so it better be. So yeah, looks like it's already ready to go for tubeless. So we're just gonna get our, get it prepped. Just kinda gonna go over it with just some alcohol reason why Kushcore has this is so when the inserts on the rim, it's gonna be pushing down on this and it's gonna be very hard to get air in with the traditional just tubeless valve. So I make this one that actually has the openings on the sides. Not sure if you guys can see that on there, if it'll be clear. So when the inserts pressing on this, air comes out the sides so it can still fill up the tire. So that's why Kushcore has specific Kushcore um, valves, press the valves for your tubeless setups. All right, so here's the insert. It is helpful if you actually leave this out in the sunlight uh, prior to working with it. It just makes your job a little bit easier. Unfortunately, I did not do that. Uh, however, these little, um, there's this uh, edge right here that's kind of indented. That's kind of where you want your, if you guys can see that. That's where you want to go right over your, your, where your valve is. So that way you can allow air to escape and that's what these other little notches are to help get air around the insert. But. <laughs> Not quite sitting in the channel. But here we go. That part's on. The hard part is actually going to be getting the tire on here. So um, what I did find helpful is to use gravity and use your weight. So start, you know, on one end, you know, start at the top and then work your way down like I did. So hopefully that helps. This is kind of how that looks. Now I'm going to go grab a trash can. All right, this is going to be fun. All right, this is impossible. So the directions say to put on like a round trash can. I've got a square trash can, not that, that I don't think it makes a difference. But the whole thing is like a roll and tuck motion. So while you have it supporting it, you're trying to tuck the cush core kind of out of the way, kind of roll the cush core out of the way with just kind of as you're pressing up against the tire and using that space to push the tire bead into the wheel well. I was having a little bit of trouble with that. So I'm really just kind of trying to do it on my own. <laughs> trying to figure out little tricks here. I'm just sitting down here. This seems to be helping a little bit because I can kind of force the bead in a little bit here. It seems to be working a little bit. I'm kind of using the tire lever here to kind of push the bead in as I'm going around. But I'm only just getting started, so. The challenge is to get the cush core out of the way so I can push the tire in. This is also my first time installing cush core ever. good right total fail I wonder how many of you uh, Kush core pros out there are laughing at me right now can't imagine what the other side's gonna be like I did it I did it I got one side 
of my tire on. <laughs> We're working it through. Just keep working your tire lever around. What I've been trying to do is you can kind of see the, the inside of this bead here. I've been trying to just work on like pushing this into the center wheel well and just keep working it, keep working it, push it, get the other part of the tire in, come back, push this back into the center, keep going, keep going. Uh, so that's where I'm at, but now I got the other side to do. Guys, if you don't need Cush Core, just don't worry about it. Just leave it. You don't need it. Don't worry about it. You think you want it, you don't. If you're gonna get it, pay somebody else to install it. We're getting there. We're on the second side. See a little bit. It's kind of bubbling up over here, but what I've been doing, I've been trying to grab, like pull the tire down and then grabbing the cush core, rolling as much of the rim and then just trying to tuck this under there. And it's working for the most part, but it's super tough now. Anyways, I am gonna turn this off until it's time to put in the sealant. Guys, hence the title, Rookie Installs Cush Core. Um, the rookie forgot the power of soapy water. I've been working on this tire forever. 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 And I was like, you know what? Let me go grab some soapy water, see if there'll be a lubricant for the tire. I literally sprayed down the edge of the tire with the soapy water, kept pushing. Cause the whole time I'm going back over, pushing the, the, uh, the tire back into the wheel well, I'm doing that, it's fine. I just couldn't get that last section. And I like soapy water down, pushed everything into the wheel well. The tire just snapped onto the rim. Easy peasy. Do not forget the power of soapy water. <laughs> Seriously, uh, I am so frustrated. I got blister forming on my thumb. It's gonna be nasty. You can kind of see it already getting there. That's gonna suck. Hopefully it doesn't pop. Anyways, that's the back tire. And I'm just gonna pretend like I've already done the front tire. I'm gonna do that another time without the camera, without you guys, but uh, so we're gonna do this. All we gotta do now, we're gonna take the, um, I mean, you've, if you guys are installing Cush Core, you're probably already installed uh, tubeless tires before. So I'm not gonna worry about uh, really the how-to of all this stuff. This really wasn't even how-to, this is just my experience. So not how-to to install Cush Core, just my experience as a rookie. Do not forget soapy water. Um, but once we're here, um, we're just gonna take out the valve core. We're gonna put in the sealant through here and then just pump it up. Just a floor pump will be fine. Uh, we'll work with this fine, so. And uh, Cush Core, done. Simple, just kidding, not simple, done. It's easy. It's not easy. Thanks for watching, guys.